Jacob Tobia, a letter to parents whose children stare at me in public. All right, <clears throat> this is a trans man or woman. I don't know how they pronounce. It's a man. It's a man. I don't know how they prefer to be called, but this this right here. In case you couldn't tell, in case it was uh, eluding your perception, uh, this is a man, and he wants your children to look at him in public. And then he wants you to push his lifestyle onto them. <laughs> when they ask you why, mommy, why is he wearing wearing a dress? Why is that man wearing a dress? Uh, one type of attention stands out above the rest, the attention of confused children. I first started noticing it when I moved to New York City at the age of 22. Yeah, I bet you... I bet you look for it, too. I bet you you love the attention. I mean, it's not like this entire BuzzFeed article is written about you. <laughs> and then later on, he goes on to say, uh, P.S. If you feel guilty using my existence as a teachable moment about gender, I will accept compensation in the form of day passes to Disney World. Send him day passes to Disney World. <laughs> If anyone is if anyone's actually gonna fucking do that oh in PPS I will also accept free drinks from the pool bar yeah because drinking yourself silly is the only way you can exist in this hellhole because you're put in the wrong body right <laughs> oh my god it's the only way that you can make it through the day knowing God hates you so much After my keynote speech, sporting a bold purple lip, swim trunks, and a bathrobe, I made my way to the hotel's lazy river. That's when I noticed the family, familiar eyes following me. The kids were back at it, blatantly staring at me in their hearts, to their heart's content. So this guy, uh, <laughs> purposely goes where children are to get stared at by them. And he, and, he, and he wants you to teach your children, he wants you bigots to teach your children to be okay with, with his lifestyle and to impose it on them. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Mommy, that boy is wearing lipstick. Or look, Dad, look at what he's wearing. Uh, after your kid's calling attention to my gender expression, you all did pretty much the same thing. You looked in my way. You looked my way, made eye contact with me, became swiftly embarrassed, <laughs> swiftly embarrassed yourselves, and told your kids that it's not nice to talk about strangers. Yeah, I don't think embarrassment of themselves. I think it was embarrassment for you, bud. I think I think these people felt bad for you. <laughs> Look, that boy is wearing lipstick. <laughs> Imagine getting BTFO'd by children on a daily basis. <laughs> oh. oh, but instead of saying that, you could, he, you not only didn't answer their questions, you effectively shut down what could have been a productive and affirming conversation. Well, thank you. Oh, wow. Because I'm sure that children are totally going to understand <laughs> what the fuck, what the fuck, the gender spectrum is, right, buddy? I'm sure they're totally going to understand the concept of being born in the wrong body. Yeah, children, get real, dude. You live in a fantasy world. Uh, I promise it's not hard. You could say. Yes, Johnny, sometimes boys do wear lipstick, and what is perfectly okay, you wear lipstick too if you want. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's not happening. Why, yes, Sarah, she is wearing a bow tie. Girls can wear both, can wear both, ah, uh, boys and girls can both wear bow ties. Would you like one? Oh, my God. So he wants you to push this onto your children, see, right there. Uh, yeah, I would I would assume it is pretty awkward being you. It's not awkward for anyone else but you, man. We all laugh at you. Let's see what people have to say about this. <laughs> Dear pronoun, you're not as half as important or entitled to respect as you have been led to believe in your delusion as far as it concerns me. 
You can choke on shit and die, which you'd probably enjoy anyway, you naughty boy. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Uh, oh, and there are only two genders. Get fucked by the freight train, you genetic failure. <laughs> oh my god, brutal, dude. <laughs> brutal, that's fucking awesome. And 69 comments on Dissenter. Wow. Uh, attention seeking complaints about getting attention. Attention seeker complains about getting attention. These people are vapid wankers. Yeah, I agree with that. Uh, kids know strange. Kids know stranger danger. Kids also know a freak. They see a freak like you and is programmed to be fearful and to pay attention. You are probably a pedo boy lover. <laughs> probably right. I mean, he is rather concerned with what you're doing with your kids. He's rather concerned with your kids. Uh, wow, there's a piece of shit whose parents failed it miserably. Yeah, I would agree with that, too. Uh, so basically, this guy is obsessed with how you... This childless man is going to tell you how to raise your children. He's going to shame you for being a bigot, for not introducing them to his lifestyle and condoning his lifestyle. Uh, so who is he? Well, Jacob Tobia. He's got his own little thing right here. He looks like he, uh... He wrote a, a gender story called Sissy. Good for him. Look at that. It, it's a pretty accurate representation right there. <laughs> you can see his fucking five o'clock shadow in the fucking drawing. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god. It, why? Oh, Bill Clinton. He's good friends with Bill Clinton. Look at Bill. Bill's loving it. Bill loves being next to this fucking... <laughs> this strong independent woman he's so into it oh bill what the fuck is wrong with you man dismantle prisons abolish ice and trans detention are you fucking kidding you're not getting detained because you're trans you're getting detained because you're an illegal immigrant are you fucking retarded bro holy shit no police no borders always fucking open borders what a surprise <laughs> what a fucking surprise uh what else we got oh oh okay he, he really likes the black women huh uh trans as fuck queer as fuck here as fuck oh wow very nice somos trans somos quiere estamos aquí uh, i don't know what that means but <laughs> apparently it's he likes the fucking Mexican uh, trans as well. Likes the Mexican trans community. Especially the illegal trans community. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> no. <laughs> Protect bland trans sex workers. <laughs> He's a big fan. He's a big fan of the BBTW. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god so this man th <laughs> this dude who likes to dress up like a woman who likes to get pegged in the ass by a, a, a black a fat black man <laughs> that likes to dress up like a woman as well uh it's gonna tell you how to raise your children how about you shut your fucking mouth dude <laughs> how about that Oh my god. That's actually insane. Like, I can't believe people are actually this fucking, like, self-important. And, like, just can't even take take a moment to look back at themselves and look at what they're doing. Holy shit. Oh, alright. Alright, well, that's it for, uh, uh, Jacob Tobia, the sissy. And I'll see y'all later.